Welcome to Smacky's Garage. Today, we're gonna to be upgrading our shocks in our F-150 to get better ride quality using the Bilstein 5100s. Bilstein 5100s are a good upgrade for any year F-150 that still has the stock shocks on it. I think one of the things that you notice that I noticed is there's a lot of wheel hop in the rear of the truck. Sometimes when you're going around corners, some bumps in the road, you know, so these are gonna help cure that. Let's go ahead and get them installed. The first thing that we're going to do is we're not going to jack the truck up. When you install these, the truck should be on the ground so that the rubber here is in its normal state when you tighten it down. What you don't want to happen is you don't want to jack the truck up, tighten everything down, and then drop it to the ground. This rotates and puts some unnecessary torque on the rubber up here. So what we're going to do, first step, keep it on the ground. Let's take the old one off. So looking at the wheel, you can see the old one actually right there behind the inner fender liner. So that's what we're going to be taking off. Let's start with the bottom. The first step is we need to take the shock out down here. To do this, we're going to loosen this and we're going to remove the nut, but we're not going to fully take the bolt all the way out yet. So the top of it is up there. We're going to have to get that out. So to do that, we're going to make sure that this is left in place, but just loose. So let's go ahead and take it out. You can see it's in place, screw's still here. We're not letting it extend because it'll be more of a pain. And now we're gonna move up to the top, up here, and do the same. If you do have inner fender wall liners, you're gonna have to move them out of the way. I might actually have to take mine out, so I'm gonna loosen this and remove it. All right, so I'm not getting the clearance I'd like in there to get the impact in there, so I'm gonna end up loosening it up by hand. Now to remove it, we're going to take the bottom out first, that way it can extend and it doesn't extend back up into the vehicle. If you take the top out first, the shock itself is going to push itself up, which is something you don't want. So let's go ahead and remove the bottom. There we go. See how it's extending? So if you were to take the top off first, it would be pushing itself up and in. So now, that can come off. And we have the old strut out of place. Now to put the new strut in, we need to make sure we keep this wrapping on it because without it, it's gonna extend and make it next to impossible to get into place. You can do it, it it's hard. So we're going to start up top, exactly like we did before. Okay, that's in place. Then we got to get the bottom in place. This the bottom. Same as before. Screw goes through. The brute blue thread lock on both threads. Now both of these in place, we're going to tighten them both down and we're going to torque them down to 66 foot-pounds. Then when we're done, this is in position, you can just go ahead and snip this away. Put everything back together if you took your fender liner out and then you're done. Then you have to do it on the other side. The truck is back together, the shocks are in it. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take it for a drive and we're gonna see how it does on the road. We're gonna see if it's improved at all. All right, so you have myself, my little puppy tank here. We're gonna to have to test the shocks. You know, one of the things I noticed is coming around corners and everything, the butt or rear of the truck feels a lot more planted than it did before, which is a really good thing. I'm also noticing that as I hit the train tracks, you know, it's bouncing less. So again, the truck is feeling more planted and it's feeling more stable. So I'm really happy with the results of kind of changing the rear shocks. It was worth the $200 upgrade. I'm very happy with kind of just the way it turned out. 
Well, I'm going to go enjoy my new shocks. Thanks for tuning in today on Smacky's Garage. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. And hit subscribe. Till next time.